Hey, uh, I am Seth Burkhardt from the Opus 3 Jazz Trio, and uh, sitting with me here is uh, my wife, Jane Burkhardt. Hi. And uh, next to her is Nelson Cruz, Hello. our bass player from San Juan, Puerto Rico. We, uh, we had a, a little show last night at the Coffin School in uh, partnership with uh, NPR Radio. Welcome to the Coffin School. I'm Brian Morris, the Honor King correspondent for the Cape Islands. NPR stations, which of course is heard globally here at 91.1 WNAN here on Nantucket. We're really pleased tonight to be sponsoring tonight's program with the Opus 3 Jazz Trio. Um, as you know, our, as you may know, our station focuses primarily on uh, you know, news and uh, talk programming, so we really don't get a chance that much to do musical programs such as this tonight, so uh, we're really delighted to be part of it and we're happy to have been asked to be part of it. We started off as, well, as a jazz trio, however, when, when we did our first contract, it was, uh, we, we found out it was a ballroom dance gig. Yeah. So, so we... That was very disturbing. <laughs> yeah, so we had to play, play a lot of rumbas and cha-chas and, and, and all that, all that fun stuff. So I, I got to learn a lot of music. She's really helped me, uh, you know, and she, you know, yeah, I mean, she, she really has, has, has made me grow as a musician and as a drummer and, and it's, it's, uh, it's a whole lot of fun. I mean, because, you know, we never play the same tune the same way. You know, you hear a lot of musicians say that, a lot of bands say that, but when you, if you get to hear us, you know, the more and more that you do get to hear us, Scott, uh, it's... It's incredible, um, and you know, Jane's the focal point. You know, uh, she is the orchestra, and Nelson and I are there to accompany, you know, her, uh, be it as it may. Uh, but on the flip side of that, yeah, we're 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 a trio, and I like know. to think we have we all have equal parts. And without further ado, I'd like to welcome and help me welcome the Opus Three Jazz Trio. to put our own band together and and so we she pulled we, the yoko yeah, <laughs> she yeah, broke the band the up i was up. in yeah sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to but, but i mean it was it, it was, was great, great. Though. <laughs> it was really great and and nelson here we met him two years ago yeah, that's right and yeah and we've been playing with him on and off yeah. ever since yeah yeah yeah, right. yeah. Well, I started first at a very young age as a guitar player. Just really the guitar, acoustic, uh, classical guitar. And I noticed that the last string of the guitar is the same as the four string bass. So I started playing those uh, bass lines and I kind of fell in love with that, that low frequency, you know, notes. <laughs> You know, it's it's rare when you see someone that plays, uh, you know, bass so melodically uh, and 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 really makes it sound other than a bass guitar. So, you know. Well, I start, you know, I I, I pretty much like a self-taught musician. Yeah. I get, took some private lessons, and after that, I start playing like what they say, garage bands. So, you know, whatever, whatever they need a bass player, I just, oh, <laughs> count with me, you know, count on me, you know. <laughs> Nelson is the most easiest going. You know, he just says where, when, how, what time, and he's there, you know. I'm and, yours. <laughs> yeah. Jazz, uh, you know, it's, it's an American music, and people all over the world 
love jazz, but he says, no America, no jazz. So I'd like to feature Jane on this, uh, this next tune here. Uh, this is also off our first CD, uh, and this is called When I Fall in Love. Jazz is huge. I mean, our first jazz fest, our album was released in August, and less than two weeks later, we started getting offers to go to Portugal, uh, to one of their biggest jazz festivals, go to Spain. Uh, but there's jazz festivals that, and venues all over. It doesn't matter whether you're in Germany, Switzerland, uh, Kazakhstan, which used to be part of Russia. Um, uh, we've been invited there. Uh, uh, Italy again. Um, where yeah. else? differences stylistically but it you know along the way we we got better and we started to click and we were able to like mentally think the same things and and go in the same direction when just after a while you just know what the other person's doing and we've we've come across a lot a lot of bass players a few bass players <laughs> where you know a lot of them just kind of do their own thing and, and uh, they, they don't listen and that is such a key that's essential yes yeah, you know it's it. essential when you, especially when you're playing jazz as a group because you'll, you never know what the next person is doing it's always going to be different and you have to concentrate and just listen to each other and know where the direction is and when you have a third person that really I mean, is there to, because they're getting paid, or is there, you know, to just play, play for themselves? It's it's really difficult to be a cohesive band. And with Nelson, the first day we played together, yeah, I mean, I the eye contact is there. He's he's looking at Seth. He's looking at me. We're yeah, smiling. I mean, point. we've just. Every time we play with Nelson, it's just been a pleasure, and it's been it's so magical. much fun. Yeah. And oh. and there's just certain people there that you just automatically click with. Opus 3 Jazz Trio. Uh, you just watch us on the Skeet Dog Show and keep on watching. Keep jazz alive. <laughs>